Hello YouTube, so welcome to our 10th Unity tutorial for our game and so far we have a really good game. Now, in the previous tutorial, as we got our sounds to make, well, we created sounds, so in this tutorial I actually said that we were going to make our enemies, such as Shang Tsung here, constantly look at our character as he walks around, but there was actually a small glitch with it and I really don't know what's happening yet. I'm still trying to find it out. But the lookout script is here, so you don't need to do that. But it's here. Works perfect. I've checked that on Unity Answers, which is Unity's forums. And they all say that it works perfect. There is nothing wrong with it. However, if we attach it to our character, well, Shang Tsung. So we want Shang Tsung to look at our character. You don't need to worry about this. Don't do that because we're going to take it off in a minute. But as you can see, if you can see, Shang Tsung is freaking out, like, d back forward, back forward, back forward, super fast. And then, eventually, he will start to take off. Like that. See? He's moving so fast, he's taking off. You can still destroy him. Like that. But... <laughs> Yeah, so that's not going to be for our tutorial today, but I have a small request for you all. I'm going to put this code in the description, and I would like you all to test it on your games and tell me if it works in the comments. The script's simple enough that works perfect. All you do is create a new script, just like anywhere, paste that code in, then attach it to the, mo the model you want to follow. So, like, we want Shang Tsung to look at our character, and then drag your character into it. And it works on any other project, but not this one. So it could either be the models, or it could just be a bug in Unity, I'm not sure. But, so please test that and tell me what you think. But anyway, today what we're going to do is tidy up our thing there. And then I figured we would add different kinds of attacks. So at the moment we have a fireball. What about a Hadouken or a Scorpion's get over here spear? Or stuff like that. Yeah, so... Um, so to start we're going to clear up our level thing yeah so create a new game object empty game object and we'll, and we'll just call this one game object well no no call this one coins that's it and we will drag every single coin we have into that coins you'll still be able to collect the coins individually but it just makes it look a lot neater here so after that create another new game object and call it enemy well enemies and then drag every single enemy you have in, like so. That'll do. Uh, we will na rename our building to Tech Building. Well, basically, just rename everything and put everything together, make it look neat. Don't drag it all into one game component because then, like, it just you'll never find the parts you want. Next, we're gonna drag a, our scenery, so our directional light and our floors, into one of the existing floors, so like that. So now we have everything labelled, so it's all neatly. Um, you may need to rename your wall cube to a wall, um, yeah. So, after you've done that, make sure you save it, because Unity's not bug-proof, it can crash sometimes, even though I've never had it, but, yeah. So now, um, what we want to do is create our Hadouken, which is simple enough. Okay, so, to start our Hadouken fireball thing, so it's not exactly the same as the fireball we're not going to copy that prefab all we're going to do is create a new sphere like so and i'm pretty sure a hadouken's like meant to be quite long as it flies like so like it's the same size as a fireball but it's like longer drag it down a bit uh yeah we'll keep it like that and so what we're going to do is first drag our bullet destroy script on so the bullet can be just well hadouken can be destroyed and then we are going to falsely try to spell hadouken hadouken that is wrong but um i'll be there uh, do it now we'll go onto the internet look at a hadouken try and get the right blah blah blah, blah. but as that's loading we will stick rigid body on and then disable the gravity where it says use gravity and there we have a basic Hadouken, it will fly around it be like wabba, wabba, and wabba, and stuff. Yeah. So, we don't want to mess with the radius. As you can see, it is off, but like, 
we'll just cut the afterburn of the blue fire stuff yeah so what we'll do is we'll go to the prefab click our fireball and see the texture we'll just click that so we can here we can see the sources so if we click our hadouken and drag the fire four on boom we have a blue well that shouldn't be blue that should be white we have a blue stretched fireball which i've stretched horribly wrong what we should do is click it and stretch it the other way so put it back to a sphere and then stretch it that way kind of like a hadouken yeah and then what we will do is go back to the tint color and select a nice blue because when we google hadouken here uh, da, 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 hadouken come on hadouken street fighter I can't spell how you can save my life. Right, come on. There we go. As you can see, it's blue and white. Um, pretty sure we don't want white patches on it, so we'll keep it as blue for now. Copy Hadouken. And go back to here, rename it, and we'll call it Hadouken. There, we have a proper Hadouken. And since we have it blue, it is blue, it will fly around like a blue Hadouken, which will look awesome. And what we'll do is we will create a new prefab here. Call it Hadouken. There we are. Uh, drag our Hadouken in, like so. If you look at it, it should have everything on. Can it be destroyed? Yes. Can it fly through the air? Rigid body, yes. Has it got a texture? Yeah. Has it got a collider? Yep. All good. Right, so if we go to... Well, we can delete that now. Goodbye. Go to our character here and find our player fire which is here and so in the next episode or maybe more we will add the Hadouken sound so when he says it he actually looks like he's saying it but so here we will note out and if you don't remember or I haven't talked about it to do notes just press two right facing slashes and then just type whatever it'll be green so here we're going to type var um, fire no Ha, Hadouken, get rid of the capital, Hadouken, sound, and it'll be an audio clip, just like we did for the fire sound, except we won't be using that now, so we'll just keep that there. Um, above that, we will create a new transform variable, and we will call it Hadouken, bullet, transform, and like that. So if we copy this, save us write it out over and over again. But below this, what we will do is note out a new column and call it integers. Integers. I think that's it. Can't spell that. But in, what an integer is, is a number. So, like, if we remember back to the player's movement speed, that's an integer. So, speed dot integer. Um, however, if you put float, float does more advanced mathematics for more, like, calculators and stuff like that. Um, so we just use a basic integer and we will call this um, weapon number and it will equal zero. No, it will equal one. We'll start off at one. So um, what that does is we will assign <coughs> each of our weapons to the weapon number. So weapon one would equal, you don't have to do this bit, I'm just showing you. Um, weapon one would equal fireball. Weapon two would equal hadouken. Oh, that's spot wrong. Weapon 3 would equal spear and stuff like that. So we could easily switch. Whenever we switch the number, it will switch the integer. Well, the weapon bullet type, yeah. So here, um, if input.get key up, spell it right there. Now here, we could um, make it so. Press 1, go to number 1, weapon, press 2, go to number 2, 3, 4, 5, and just go like that. And that will only give you a limited amount of weapons unless we assign a GUI. So like if you hold, I don't know, 0 down, you can assign what weapon it goes to it or something. That's more advanced, so we'll leave that for now. Um, another way to do it would be, I don't know, Q and E for an example. I remember that from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. You press Q, switches to the next weapon. Q again, switches to the next weapon. Press E and it will previous back. And really. So first we'll do number one. So get key up, key one. 
um, open it up with curly brackets and if the get key button is one is pressed up then we want the weapon number to equal one that's it so now because we have two weapons we'll call that there another way to copy and paste is to select the code you want always select above it and press control slash command D and it'll duplicate it then what we do is change these numbers to two so if number one is pressed it'll be number one if it's number two it'll be number two so um, now that we've done our weapon change which is simple next we need to do is in our fire so when we press E to fire usually it would fire straight away which worked but now we need to do an if statement if the weapon number equals dub2 equals 1 so here we'll just do 1 equals fireball 2 equals um, hadouken like so so we know what's what so number one if it equals number one then yes we want to just fire the fireball which is all good however if we select this control slash command D below and rename it to two if it equals two we don't want it to fire the fireball again we want it to actually fire the fireball hadouken bullet stop saying fireball hadouken yeah and we'll call the, create a new variable called bullet fire. We can't have it because we've already got it, so it'll throw an error. So we'll just call it bullet had o. So create a new variable called bullet had o. Fire, fire, create that bullet at this spawn point, which is okay. We want it to spawn in the same area. Um, we, however, we don't want it to push the bullet fire because it won't be created. We want it to push the had can bullet. And since we have no audio yet, we'll just note it out with two slashes. Like that. However, to save time later, we can just stick the Hadouken sound in there, and that would work perfect. Now, if we test that, basically when we press E, if the weapon number equals number one, then do that. If it equals number two, do that. All good. So, load Unity back up, click that, and first we need to go back to our character and drag our Hadouken onto there, like that. Yep. Yeah. So when we play it, press number one, press E. Punch. Falcon punches. Press two, press E. Fireball. However, if we press three, nothing happens. Well, the number doesn't change. But if we press one, Punch. that's really loud. Um, we might have to dim the volume down on that in Unity so like you can hear other people talking because if every time someone tries to talk on the game when we do a cutscene we just click Falcon Punch so you can't hear them might be a bit bad so at least we have our Hadouken Hadouken but as you can see it just makes them fly away because they are some sort of wizards even though this guy's actually got no powers he can still fly as you can see and he's flying away so what we need to do is make it so they can actually get hurt the enemies so if we go back to our game view and click maximize on play so it's minimized so if we press 2 and press E then pause it you can actually see that the Hadouken clone which is there is actually called Hadouken bracket bracket clone so if we copy that for now then open up our enemy collisions like that um, as you can see basically when the collision stays it destroy it like so so if we highlight all this control slash command D then we name it to Hadouken. You could just put or like I think the or's like that, two lines and then carry on. But uh, sometimes that doesn't work, so I'm just gonna keep it like here. Basically, if the fireball or Hadouken hits it, then it goes boom, destroys. And what we could do is like um, do some particle particle effects maybe some other time. And like I don't know when you hit them, it goes splat with loads of blood or something. It shouldn't be too hard to do hopefully but yeah so Hadouken dead and again Hadouken dead Hadouken dead Hadouken oh he's, he's trying to fly away um no alright so that's all good but this should be depending on how we set it up this one small glitch I haven't pressed any keys press E oh. so that works the glitch was going to be that if we set this to zero, to start on zero, then as soon as we start the game, we could be bashing E, and then nothing would happen. So, yeah, keep it as one. That's what I was going to say, but looks like already done. So, 
Um, please, like I said at the beginning of the tutorial, try the look at script on the characters. Um, the new tutorial, another tutorial will be up soon because um, I kind of want to do that Hadouken sound really badly. So, <laughs> um, anyway, please try it and comment in the description comment in the comments section yeah tell me what models you're using and what version of unity the version i have is the um about unity here version 3.5.1.1 f2 yeah so um that's one thing um, if you try that and the next tutorial i will also be discussing the unity asset store it's a really good way to get th models, whether you pay for it and be free, like um, the 3D modeling website we use, but these ones you can do, they are already built into Unity, so they will already have animations if you get it and stuff like that. There is some really good stuff in there. But um, So yeah, um, thanks for watching, please like, comment, and subscribe, and enjoy.